Hello everybody, Kilo Monster -er here, and today I will be doing Web Deku has Bones Power, Part 29. So, in the last part, Deku and his entire class just passed the Provisional Hero License Exam. Now, continuing the story, the Big Free of UA would have been introduced just as the anime, with the exception being that the ones that went to I Island already know who Mirio is, and if you don't know why, just watch part 23. As after being introduced, Mirio would have challenged the entire class 1A, and just as the anime, Mirio would have basically beat up everyone, except for Deku, since he knows that he is the strongest in the entire class. And after beating up almost everyone in the entire class, Deku is the only one that Mirio hasn't even touched yet. Him reappearing in front of Deku. Deku saying, So, are you done warming up yet? Pretty much, but are you sure you don't need to warm up? Nah, I don't need to warm up to defeat you. Huh, <laughs> big mouth coming from the guy who lost our previous match. Last time, I wasn't allowed to use my powers, but this time, it is. So, I would watch out if I were you, Lemillion. Fair enough, Bon. As Mirio would start to permutate through the ground, with Deku taking out Korcho's and getting ready, him closing his eyes and trying to predict where Mirio would appear next. Deku looking back as Mirio would appear behind Deku, him kicking Deku, with Deku jumping back and using physical hunt to take Mirio's energy. Mirio dropping onto the ground, but while Mirio was dropping onto the ground, he would actually permutate into the ground, him again reappearing in front of Deku and punching him in the face, with Deku using Zero Sign, Mirio stopping his attack and turning around, him trying to figure out where Deku is going to hit him, as Deku reappears right in front of Mirio, but before Mirio can even react, Deku would disappear again, with Mirio being even more careful. This is when Deku would again reappear, this time right next to Mirio. Mirio reacting even faster than the last time, he would throw a punch straight towards Deku, but Deku would just disappear. This disappearing and reappearing thing happening over and over again, as after about 10 to 15 times, right after Deku disappeared, Mirio would start to hear loud footsteps and the sound of chains smashing into each other, with those sounds getting closer and closer to Mirio, with those sounds stopping. Mirio being a bit confused, as he would immediately be smashed across the face. Everyone being surprised to see that Mirio finally got hit once, as right after Mirio got smashed across the face, those sounds came back. With those sounds stopping again, Mirio expecting that Deku is going to attack again, he would immediately use his permutation, but he didn't permutate through the ground. Deku after attacking Mirio and permutating through Mirio, he would have known that he is using permutation, but he is not going through the ground, so Deku would have just went for Mirio's legs or should I say his ankle. Him doing so, as Mirio would have been swept onto the ground, well, into the ground. With Deku deactivating Zero Sign, him saying, 
So, Lemillion, did you have fun? Mirio coming back out of the ground and saying, Well, that's not what I call fun, but if we keep this up, it is going to take a long time to finish this fight. So, how about we nerf ourselves a bit? Actually, I could have ended this fight a long time ago, like 5 seconds after this fight started. You can? Yes, I could have just taken all of your energy at the start of the fight, but that wouldn't be any fun, don't you agree? Huh, <sighs> and I thought you were giving me all you got. Well, so weren't you. Yeah, I know, but do you still want to get nerfed and have a bit more fun than this? I am listening. I was thinking about this. I won't use my permutation, and you will not use your disappearing technique and your energy ticking technique. Interesting. So, what do you say, Bon? Are you up for the challenge? Yes, I am, but can I add one more, well, rule? Sure, go ahead. You have to use your other quirk. Everyone hearing that Mirio has another quirk would be confused, since he only ever uses permutation against them. Even the big three, well, the other big three are confused, because Mirio didn't tell them about him getting one for all. Now, this is when Mirio would have smiled, him sparking with electricity, and using 50% of one for all, him saying, so any more rules? Well, that's pretty much all I got, so um, no, I don't. As Deku would have grabbed the ends of Korcho's, him thinking, I've wanted to try this for so long. Him saying, It's your move, Mirio. With Mirio rushing towards Deku, Deku closing his eyes and taking a deep breath. Him opening his eyes again and saying, Crazy rush. As Korcho's would start to glow, him swing Korcho's at Mirio. Mirio jumping up to dodge the attack, but Korcho's would suddenly change its direction and going straight up to Mirio's, well, chest. Mirio, seeing this, would throw a wind pressure towards Deku to move away from the attack and also trying to hit Deku, which Deku would have just dodged the attack. Him swinging Korcho's around and firing another light blue whip towards Mirio. Basically, imagine Deku using Banishing Kill over and over again, non-stop. By the way, Deku can use multiple Banishing Kill at the same time. Also, they can change direction if they are attached to Korcho's. Speaking of attached to Korcho's, they can also detach from Korcho's and can be used as a projectile, but they won't be able to change direction when they are detached, since 1. it is not homing, and 2. it would be too overpowered. So Deku would continue to attack Mirio with Mirio dodging almost all of them, but each time he dodges, the attack would be closer than the last, as this is when Mirio would get scratched in his arm, with more and more scratches appearing all over Mirio's body. Mirio knowing that if he takes his eyes off of Deku for even one second, he would immediately get hit. Mirio knowing all of that, he would still try to attack Deku, while dodging all of his attacks. Him doing so, as he would have thrown a punch straight towards Deku, with Deku seeing that Mirio is throwing a punch at him, he would manipulate one of the, well, whips that is close to Mirio to change direction, 
it going straight into Muriel's leg. This making Muriel lose his balance and messing up his attack. Him still throwing out his arm and using his fingers, he would have fired a small wind pressure towards Deku. With Deku seeing that, he would basically manipulate another one of his whips to cut that wind pressure in half. It splitting in half in front of Deku as he would order every single one of his whips to attack Mirio. With Mirio not being able to dodge out of the way in time, he would just have to use permutation and emit defeat. Now this will be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. That would be amazing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!